I got you juicy entertainment news for Friday. Meek Mill is is the uh, joke of social media. He's getting dragged on social media for his belly flop in the pool. Sounds kind of familiar, right? Uh, He rented out the DreamWorks Water Park at the American Dream Mall in New Jersey for one of his rapper friend's birthday. It's the largest indoor water park in the country, and he was pretty excited to test out uh, the big pool. He attempted to dive in headfirst into the water, but he ended up belly flopping. It was kind of like, ooh, I'm going to dive, and then like, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to make it, and boom, he went straight in. Um, And of course, you know, this has now had everyone comparing his belly flop to Hove's belly flop. You remember the famous Jay-Z belly flop off the yacht back a few years back? Well, of course, the memes have been trending. Uh, My favorite one is the Hope versus the Goat, uh, side by side, showing the two of them with their belly flops. Uh, Almost a week after it was reported that both Nicki Minaj and her husband Kenneth Petty were on the receiving end of a lawsuit, a new report states that Petty himself is now filing a lawsuit of his own against the state of New York. Now let's go back. 1995, he was convicted for attempted rape and served four years behind bars. Once he was released, he was mandated to register as a sex offender. Then in 2006, he was sentenced to seven years in prison for murder. Police alleged that he ran down um, his the the uh, he sorry he ran down Lamont Robinson in the street, jumped out of a vehicle, and then shot him. Robinson reportedly lived long enough to name Petty as his killer. Petty went on to serve seven years in prison. Well, now he's suing the state of New York, including its criminal justice services, because he wants his name removed from the sex offenders registry. Now, the uh, what it now says is that he has been placed as a risk level two sex offender and classified as an overall danger to the public. Well, Petty claims that he wasn't notified of the hearing that decided on what level he would be uh, put into. And he says that this occurred in 2004 when he was in jail. And it also states that he never signed paperwork and what authorities have is a forgery. He also believes he never got his constitutional right to do process um, and uh, claims that his reputation has suffered, resulting in humiliation and financial loss. And this includes also his most recent arrest in 2020 for not registering as a sex offender in California when he and Nikki moved there. It's reported that he is only seeking for his name to be completely removed from the registry. But here's my question. When you're in jail, do you have constitutional rights to due process? That's the big question right there. Um, from the It's Good to Be Rich Files, The weekend just dropped $70 million on a big, beautiful estate in Bel Air. From being homeless on the streets to, of Toronto to living it up like the Prince of Bel Air, The weekend has come definitely a long, long way. And you know what? He's worked really hard for it. His new massive estate houses a 33,000 square foot mansion with nine bedrooms, a spa, indoor and outdoor pools, a sports court, and uh, a studio for him to record at. Now, here's the cool part. Uh, The home's prior owners, a Dutch media mogul and his wife, they didn't want to sell the house. I mean, they didn't have it up. It wasn't listed. But he saw the house and decided to put an offer in, and they could not turn down that $70 million. So the deal was done off market and he is now the proud owner of a beautiful $70 million estate in Bel Air. And that is your Juicy Entertainment News for Friday. Lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.